All right, so the boys are not here. Of course, I'm going to be extremely sad tomorrow, but today's not tomorrow. This is just a quick video of five things that I do while my kids are gone. Go ahead and hit the like. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you find any of this information useful. There's five things that I do that are really important um, that maybe you want to incorporate doing as well while your kids are gone, um, whether they're, you know, just away at grandma and grandpa's or whether they're just visiting that friend. Probably right now the friends that, that doesn't have COVID will be the ones that they're visiting. Um, but like I said, these are five things that I do and they're very helpful for me once my kids return. I'm gonna jump right into the number one thing that I do. You probably do or you probably don't do it, but um, it's kind of unique. All right, this is the number one thing for me. It's actually toys, um, particularly the toy box. What I do is I itemize and I optimize all of the toys. I take inventory of all the toys that my kids play with weekly, daily, monthly. And of course, you're gonna be more knowledgeable on what it is that your kids will miss and what they won't miss. I know my kids, things like, um, yeah, this, throw that away. Um, little things like these, go ahead and throw that away. Um, primarily like those McDonald's toys, cause my kids love McDonald's. I don't know about yours, but my kids love McDonald's. They always get a whole bunch of toys. They're always packing it up. Um, of course, I don't mind them playing with things, but they don't necessarily need all these toys. And might as well go ahead and just keep it clean, keep it organized. And I do that by itemizing and optimizing. Um, once again, get rid of the things that you know they won't miss. Go ahead and keep the things that they will miss until a later date to when they won't miss it anymore. All right, team. Jumping in. Yeah, it's going off. Yeah, seriously. Ta -da, da da Laundry. Number two thing. So, laundry is the number two thing that I do. Um, particularly would be my number one thing if it wasn't for those toys. Um, but laundry is the number two thing that I do because washing, drying, folding, and putting away is so arduous. And with your kids, you can forget about it. So, you get pulled in so many different directions on the daily when they're around you. Um, so if your kids are away for whatever reason, use that time, utilize it, knock that laundry out. I promise it'll be so much better when they come back. So the third thing that I actually do is self-care. Um, self-care is really important. Now self-care can fall under several different categories. It may be reading a book, it may be watching a movie, maybe playing video games, whatever you need to do to self-care, get your nails done, get your hair done. You know, everyone's different. Um, just make sure you take that time out for yourself. Primarily, we're always on autopilot and we don't even know it, especially when we have kids and we're just doing a bunch of running around. So just take a deep breath, take a step back, rejuvenate, refresh, get yourself ready, get yourself being the best version that you possibly can. So when the kids come back from wherever they may be, you're 100%, almost 1,000% ready to go back at it again. So, number four. All right, now this may be two things in one, but primarily number four for me is grocery shopping and meal prepping. So go on ahead and get everything that you know you're gonna need for the week. Um, and you don't have to be meal prepping like you some bodybuilder trying to enter some competition. It's not that kind of party. Um, what I mean by prepping is just getting a couple things organized that you know the kids are going to immediately gravitate to once they come back. Have those things lined up, easily accessible. Once you have those things easily accessible, you'll be good to go. Number five to me is probably the most simplest, self-explanatory. I don't really don't even have to say this, but number five for me, once everything is done, like I said, I've knocked off number one, which is the toys, knocked off number two, which is laundry. Knocked off number three, self-care. Knocked off number four, grocery and meal prep for the week. Number five, real simple, sleep. And I mean, go ahead and get comfortable sleep. Get in that position, get in the bed, even put on a little bit of sleep music, um, escape sounds, whatever you need. So like I said, number five is sleep. Sleep is really important, um, especially uninterrupted sleep. A lot of times we may be sleeping with the mind state to wake right back up, whether it's work, whether it's errands, whether it's stuff that we just need to do around the house. Um, so with this time, with the kids gone, I advise you just go ahead, get that power sleep in, recharge yourself, get yourself back up. 
Um, the sleep is so vital. A lot of times we overlook it um, because we're adults and there's a lot of things that we feel like we have to get done. And if we don't do it, it'll never get done. Um, but it's okay to just take a step back, get some sleep, rest up, do what your body is asking you, but you may not be listening because you are always running around. Rightfully so, you have things to accomplish. But like I said, number five is sleep. It's really major. It's really important. And it's just something that I think that we often overlook. So those are the five things that I do while my kids are gone that's really helpful for when they return. If you find anything helpful, if you've made it until the end of this video, go ahead, hit that like, go ahead, hit that subscribe. And if you're gonna implement any of this stuff, go ahead and hit that notification to just check out the new videos that'll be coming soon. All right, Tunji here. Like I said, this is gonna be a quick video because I gotta go back to sleep. I think I might actually sleep. They don't know about this. They don't know about this. They don't know. All right, guys, I'm back. I know you thought this video was over, but the truth is, I don't want to be selfish. I don't want to be that type of person acting like I'm just have an abundance of information to share with the world because I know it all. That's not really a characteristic of mine. Um, so what I wanted to do was take the time out to ask for your input. Um, down in the comments, if possible, if you have information that you would like to share that I may have missed, a couple things that may be helpful in the overall, uh, overall goal of what I'm trying to do, overall things that I'm trying to accomplish in this thing we call parenting, in this thing I call fatherhood. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any information or knowledge that you would like to share, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys uh, may do that I don't do, really shed some light on a couple of things and open up my mind uh, as to how I can do things differently to get the best results possible. That's really all I'm about is getting the best results possible for me, my kids, and for everyone around me. So yeah, once again, if you guys have that information and knowledge that you would like to share with me, I would love to receive it go ahead and drop it in the comments below and i will see you later i think we're almost at our eight minutes yeah <laughs> we're at our eight minutes i'll see you guys later bye